If you like to listen to Ska, then you better tune in. We got all the rancid you could want, so give us a spin. Laughing and potting telling stories that may be true. Secret to our process is never knowing when we're through. Black mics, white comps, dark thoughts, checkered past. Yeah, it's time for Heptember. What up, Checkerheads? Welcome to Checkered Pass, the Scott cast with Slynn and Rob, the show where a uh, daily city trained to Scottville, and uh, she's automatic when you see her every day. Explore the history and impact of a different band each episode and hope to bring in new fans along the way. I'm Rob King of Ska, and this is my sister and co-host. I don't like it. Slynn Matt. Slynn <laughs> Matt. Yeah, we've just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Celin Matt. Celine Not Celin Friedman, Celin Matt. And for for September, we're bringing along engineer Joey Bastard. Haha, it's me. I'm here on a real episode. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, we, we have a jam-packed September round two, and we have a guest that's going to patiently wait with us. Uh, but uh, Celine, you have a Celine. <laughs> I just have a really quick Celine. I do this for three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's your that's your Celine. yeah I that's your whole thing. I just want to do the doom doom doom. Uh yeah, I just got my stupid Instagram hack. So I this will be in a while from a little bit from record, but uh yeah, it was just very. If I feel if I sound a little edgy, it's because I am. <laughs> I might be a little harsher on the songs today. Do you, do you want to talk about your fight this morning? <laughs> yeah, uh, it was know. just back and forth. Uh, me and said scammer was like just we kept both logging in and trying to change as much information as we could whilst logging in. So uh, yeah, it was just quite stressful. So we had to push the record back a little bit this morning because I had to get it on lock because it's how I do my business. So it was dumb. Do, turn on your two factor. I was going to say, what's the lesson? Yeah. The lesson is turn on two factors. Or as much as you can. You can get like devices, but like, yeah, Instagram is not like handling it well. And it seems to be happening to like a lot of people. So yeah. They don't have like a stay vigilant. Yeah. Uh no, not really. And I think that there's too much like happening right now. But yeah. Yeah. Because option two is close it down and start a new one, which you've seen before. Goddamn Evelyn. Is that new Evelyn? Evelyn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Was the yeah, it was like the email, Goldie, and then on my post, Goldie it was like Ghoul or something, an email, Gmail, Goldie EV or something Evie. like that. Yeah, and then it was like at Evelyn something something. So she's a beautiful woman <laughs> <laughs> who's just trying to get all of your followers to get Bitcoin. So many. The worst part of it is that like there's a bunch of people out there that like oh Celine's selling Bitcoin now, and also like <laughs> reaching out to me to solicit Bitcoin. Point. like that i'm a the worst part of it is like being like now well, Celine crypto got into bro. crypto yeah oh, Celine, you're a crypto bro and then like not even like that would have been maybe kind of cheeky like <laughs> six years ago but like crypto's on its way out <laughs> crypto's on its way <laughs> out well well it's definitive you heard it here first folks. it's kind of punk rock <laughs> what is crypto yeah. oh come it's off un- it <laughs> the, yeah, crypto anarchist is not a thing yeah. it's a made hey i watched word. the anarchist i know yeah, you I did know. yeah <laughs> i'm I, an anarcho capitalist now <laughs> I, I noticed all the black and yellow black and yellow black and yeah, yellow okay so then it's done <laughs> <laughs> Well, since it's September, <laughs> we're going to get right into it. We're absolutely thrilled to introduce our guest returning to the program. He's an artist, a writer, a poet, and a friend. <laughs> That's what you wanted to say, Joey? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. That's> what? <laughs> <laughs> Whose new single, Blinded by a Black Hole, is streaming everywhere right now through Scott Punk International. Common Sense Kid is here. Hi, Craig. What, mate? <laughs> Before I go with the British voice. Your favorite <laughs> dirty old Brit, yeah, dirty old Brit, favoritist. Drinking a pint of ska. <laughs> would you say? Would you say, uh, would you say, you say you're a cider drinker? Oh, yeah, I am a cider drinker. The Wurzel song <laughs> is that a yeah? That was, that's yeah, it's, it's, it's a song. Yeah, it's a song. Yeah, I am a cider drinker. drinker. Wow, well, it goes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I make that reference in Canada a lot, and I get blank expressions when people are drinking cider. And I say, "Would you say you're a cider drinker?" And blank expressions. You've definitely said like, dreadnoughts uh, yes. are from Canada, though. 
A little. Oh, that's a BC thing. Yeah, uh, drinking cider. Yeah, yeah. It's this is this is beer they got, country. They got cider yeah, where beer. they got Alberta. Where they in, got orchards. They got cider in like southern Ontario and in BC because that's where all the orchards. I like, like a Magner's on ice or a Bulmer. Yeah, but like in those areas, they have like craft ciders the way we have craft beer all over the place. Yeah, that's true. So That'd be nice. It's just the thing. That's what they grow, so that's what they drink. Do you it ha- drink it on ice, Craig, ever? I ha- on the uh, yeah, I had uh, the mango on ice, but usually if it's at, like a pub or something like that, it comes out tap cold, so don't need ice in it. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Just like a w root beer. <laughs> just Ooh. like a w root beer. Uh, Craig's uh, having a drink, so he's got us drinking at 9.30, 9.50 a.m. He has well. us <laughs> drinking. Yeah. I, he, he didn't even... I, I also mentioned... I got told that drink. Rob was going to have a cocktail. A cocktail? So that's I was gonna have mimosas. I, I have said. a I have a cream yeah. fist instead. Oh, uh, I'm on the Instagram. Oh, <laughs> I'm Celine's the Instagram checkered past. What? Yeah, okay. you're the only the Twitter. I speak to people oh, on the Instagram. On the Instagram? Yeah. Oh, that's your coffee. Identity, identity theft. I should just start. Oh yeah, you have coffee like and a and a beer and a beer. That's uh, an upper and a downer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's basically all day every day. I'm like, <laughs> coffee and then weed. And then coffee and then weed. And I'm like, cold brew. And then I'm like, out of hand. <laughs> you mix balance. it all together and you just balance yourself out perfectly. Yeah. And then you just get nooch. Yeah. <laughs> that's totally. what you're aiming for. I'm, I'm aiming I'm for waking nooch. up trying to get nooch. nooch. Yeah. Shooting for nooch. Shooting for nooch. <laughs> Shooting for nooching. Uh, man, this is a real uh, <laughs> Lucy Goosey. What did Jay and Silent Bob say? Snoochie Boochies. Snoochie Boochies. Snoochie Boochies, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? That's fun. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Snoochie Boochies. Bucks, little, little man. man. I'll put, put that, that shit in, in my, my hand. hand. If, if that, that money doesn't show your gold. You owe me, owe oh, me, owe. Oh. My yeah. jungle my love. love. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I want to know you. Does that movie hold up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was universal. Yeah, I, like. I looked at Jason Mewes in April at, at Comic Con from afar, speaking, as, in a Jar Jar mask. <laughs> speaking of crypto, Kevin Smith's uh, movie crypto is bro? well, his new oh. movie is going to be uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, an, an NFT. Clerks mm. three, the NFT. No, not that one. A different mm. thing. Oh. <laughs> not Clerks three. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He doesn't want to make no money. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to make some money. That's fair. Just like when the Wu Tang Clan gave uh, Martin Shkreli <laughs> their their album. Isn't that like the they're, first they're NFT they're te- or like of one of the first sides NFTs? that sucked? Apparently, is the story. Yeah. What do we? We should put our first episode as an NFT, like the same. Thing. <laughs> oh, Chris would be after you. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stir things up. He Just piss him off. Guess, guess. Don't. <laughs> now I'm in. <laughs> Uh, just an <laughs> nft tro- like we troll chris so hard that we just have actual nft <laughs> it starts as a joke it starts as a joke ends as having an nft <laughs> and we're making nfts of sbi band stuff <laughs> he said the other day bootleg it didn't he so he did yeah, he did <laughs> straight up with he- permission from da <laughs> yep uh, so I should ask questions, right? This is also like an interview thing. Uh, What's your checkered past? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Let's rehash that question. <laughs> uh, How so- do you record music in your bedroom? <laughs> technically, you I'm I'm your most returning guest now, aren't I? Because technically, mm, sure during the bedroom is an episode because on your on your podcast list. Yeah, and then yep. the first one, and this would be the third time. That's you right. Are indeed. This you is yes. number one. I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. You're first. number one of the number one ska podcast in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's even the only one that we know of. It's so. a thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not nothing. The that's official a... house podcast of Stop Records. Yeah, I don't think that's going yeah. anywhere. <laughs> uh, so for for the listeners, well, catch us up. What's been going on new in the world of Common Sense Kid in the last six months since you were on in Madness March? March. Um, Things are blowing up. Yeah, I released a new song that was going to be on the new, or is going to be on the new album, which is probably out next year because life's been a bit crazy. Um, and it fucking and then I had Radioactive on Songs for Mums too, and that came out with a single. Um, and I'm sort of working on other bits and pieces as well. So, so what are you thinking for on. the new album? Like, what's your uh, 
what is, where your influence is what's the vibe going to be um I, I was thought it was going to be sort of um try and make it more sort of the same sort of thing but no it's uh every song will be different again because <laughs> i can't <laughs> stick to one genre so uh if you liked the drum and bassy scar stuff that might be the only song might not be that's that sort of ilk on it and then there'll be ska punk and there'll be dub there'll be like reggae and ska punk with rap and all sorts again so with melodica <laughs> sweet. so uh, it'll be a bit of everything i don't to be honest i don't really care because I, if if i is i just make music that i want to listen to so it's not just going to make every song sound the same because that just gets boring i hope you're yeah. as good of a <laughs> rapper as tim armstrong <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have a tim impression I've, do i have I've one already prepped i've prepped yeah. i've prepped Frank to have one um <laughs> no, oh, no, i don't no, really we gotta, we gotta listen to song oh yeah gotta come back. i think you i have to listen to a few to get, yeah, yeah. maybe at the end of the episode i'll loosen up a little bit it might be yeah. a, uh, that's as good enough a... do we I'll need to know <laughs> the right. rancid origin story well i was oh, yeah. gonna oh, i was gonna ask yeah very important your history with the band of Heptember, Rancid. Rancid, right. So um, I must have been... Uh, does anyone know when South Park Chef Aid album came out? Uh, it must have been like 1998 or 99. It would have been before the movie, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I had that album and I really liked the Brad Logan song on it. But I did not know who Rancid were then. And it wasn't until a few years later. So technically, the first song I heard was Brad Logan. And then I heard Outcome of Wolves when I was probably about 15 or 16. So Yeah, it was 98. 98, yeah. So, yeah. It used to be on really late on Channel 4 here. And I used to watch South Park on TV when I shouldn't have been watching South Park. So, Uh And then I got the uh, Chef Aid album on CD. That's and, my rancid origin story. And, and, then is on, around, yeah. <laughs> and then you went around the house singing chocolate salty balls. That's to the everyone. only thing I remember yep. from that. Yeah. And um, that hot lava song as well that's on that album. Oh, yeah, that, that song's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> yeah, that is a good song. <laughs> I felt so bad for Kenny. Because <laughs> he was constantly dying? Yeah, it was too sad. It made me too sad. <laughs> Poor little Kenny. Well, it just made it was too much of a bummer that he died. He was such a little cutie. Those people that killed him, they were bastards. Yeah. <laughs> just, like me, yeah. Bastard. just like me, Joey Bastard. You killed I, Kenny. I killed Kenny. Kenny. Bastard. <laughs> it was me. Um, and Primus has a song called Here Come the Bastards. And Primus did the South Park intro. You see really? what I did there? That yep. was like... Yeah. And we're from Canada, and famously, South Park's blame Canada. <laughs> and we also have heads that come apart in two. This Honestly, podcast, that's basically what we sound like as the Canadian. Is, like, bah, 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 bah. basically hosted by Terrence and Phil. Yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> are constantly farting on each other. <laughs> With words. <laughs> Let's get some craft dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for treasure. <laughs> no joke we talked about treasure a lot in canada we do all the time <laughs> yeah, god awesome. obsessed there's a lot of it there's a lot of it the curse of oak island there's yeah. a show on it that shows the worst if anyone has seen it it's like i don't know how many seasons it has but like it's Our a fucking big ass hole in the east coast they're just digging a hole island. they think it has something to do with the freemasons they find nothing not they nothing. grasp at straws and they will never find anything no, it's just simple. a hole who cares? Is it like that uh, documentary Behind the Curve where they uh, follow around flat earthers and then oh. the guy does the thing at the end and it's like, is this wrong? Proves. And they're like, yeah. no. He like proves himself incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no, not that's like amazing that stupid, though. But that's amazing. Uh. I, that. I just discovered r slash birds aren't real. <laughs> where they like think that like <laughs> everybody discovered. is like like covid was kind of a scam so everyone could go inside so they could switch are these out um people that think that yeah birds are drones and they're <laughs> yes, uh, yes. surveillance yes. and they're monitoring yes. you what? yeah yes. i've heard that as well and it's like half i'd say it's probably like 90 percent <laughs> trolls and te- yeah. like, I, I thought you were gonna say 90 percent the- true <laughs> no but there are birds aren't real truthers out there i think we established like- last time that means a little quite like the uh, conspiracy theory like craziness and um serial killer stuff yeah 
Yeah, you were really into uh, what's the guy? Teal Swan. Colts. Oh no, yes, yeah. Teal Colts, Swan. Wasn't it? Yeah. I'm a big Swan yeah, head. Colts. Colts. That's what. Big I Swan head. Lately, big Swan head. Huge Swan head. Honestly, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of. We're. I did watch the. I've been watching a lot of docu series. All right, it's been things been getting dark over here. <laughs> I feel like it. Yeah. Anyways, the anarchist is really good. <laughs> you can't move to Mexico, and if you're not rich be above the law but if you're rich you can be above the law you know sure. like anywhere else that sounds like yeah the truth everywhere <laughs> and don't sell um anything above marijuana in mexico if you are not a part of the cartel mm. do not you will die listeners do not <laughs> just we're okay stop selling two, two point authentication don't sell anything more powerful than weed in just mexico. weed you can only sell weed <laughs> I know you're you were learning. going to. Yeah, I know you were going episode. to. So we <laughs> found out Craig's <laughs> ranted <laughs> origin story. The South Park. Do do you still listen to and enjoy the ranted? Yeah, I don't really listen to the new stuff much. I still listen to uh, Life Won't Wait and um, Outcome the Wolves and the self titled album, but I don't really listen to the other ones as much. We were rant, rant, when you say self titled, Ranted two thousand ninety three uh 2001 oh yeah. Yeah, yeah as as Big discussed fan. rancid 2000s great yeah i yeah. recently re- listened re-listened to rancid 93 because i plan on listening to the entire rancid discography by the end of september and i will say this matt freeman sings a fuckload on the first one yeah, yeah. That's, I forgot. That, that's what he i does. was saying on the first one and then on the second one he sings a little bit and on out come the wolves not at all yeah yeah no. and then he comes back a little bit on life won't wait and then like half of the songs on rads of 2000 um craig i have a question quick would you okay. like to uh invest 500 dollars into my bitcoin uh i made ten thousand dollars in three hours <laughs> uh, i just want to i keep making that joke and i'm like that's not funny like and, and people dming me and be like is this you and i want to be like hey would you it is really like, funny. And it's too I, much of a bit. And then every would... time I see someone who's reached out, I'm like, hey, do you want to? <laughs> I cannot believe you didn't just like post a tweet like immediately after and say like, hey, just so you know, my Instagram got hacked. But like, uh, yeah. if, you, if you invest $500, <laughs> you me. will, you will see returns. That's all I'm saying. Like this one wasn't real, but I'm not counting out cryptocurrency. <laughs> all together i want you all to know that i still love crypto since i got hacked by a crypto scammer i started doing some research into crypto <laughs> and like, i just want to share legit. and it's an opportunity it did say she kept saying in the dms like it's legit and real <laughs> which is you know it's legit and real when someone tells you it's, <laughs> it's legit, legit and, and real, real. yeah uh, <sighs> so when i gave you <laughs> i'm trying to pivot it's so hard uh <laughs> <laughs> so I, I gave you the current bracket uh, yeah. as it stands now so mm-hmm. what are you thinking going into these these lineups and uh, what's your criteria do you think for um so there's one where i'm like i'm torn i can't i don't know which way i'll go i did i did it on the um page uh, not Patreon, what is it called? You'd say it better. Challenge. 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 <laughs> that's it. I, did, I picked it on there, but now I, I was listening to him earlier and I was like, ah, uh, because I had the other song stuck in my head all day. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the songs from the first round. So which ones went out and which ones came in. Right. But it, it's a solid list. It's a solid list. Honestly, and I just noticed this, we eliminated everything off of Let the Dominoes Fall. Whoa. Mm. And we eliminated everything off the new one, Troublemaker. Whoa, there's really? there's nothing left from there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So there's So it, that says something. This is only from uh Honors All We Know is the only new album that has any song. And it's three. It's three songs on there. That was and that's awesome. probably from their newer albums, probably the the better one. So round you th- yeah, you'd say that would I would say so too. As much mm-hmm. as I dunk on the song "Honor Is All We Know" as being kind of goofy, uh, it's probably the better of their yeah. newer stuff. I'd say. Like, there's songs on each on the new albums that I like, but like, it's not back to back bangers like the um sort of earlier ones. They're they're a little in cruise control post two thousand three. It's not like the Miley Cyrus album bangers. That's quite. Uh, <laughs> you know, like that's going out of your like that's that, that's arrogant. You know, <laughs> 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 Call it, just, it, like, no, my with, a, with a Z. To be fair, of course it was. 
You didn't have to tell me. Bangers that. era Miley. I highly recommend. That was like undercut twerking Miley. <laughs> she ain't your Disney star anymore. You heard it here first. I don't have a strong opinion on Miley Cyrus, but it, I, it is. A, I do. It is a lot to just be like. This is my album. It's called Bangers. It's all bangers. <laughs> I got no. I got no album cuts on here. Um. All right. Well, why don't we get to it? Yeah. Let's Shall kick we? off September. Let's talk rancid. So... Uh. Here's the uh the intro. All month long. Uh, we're going to <laughs> pit. That sounded weird. Huh? <laughs> it just sounded weird. Oh. <laughs> we're doing a March Madness style bracket to pit 23 songs of. <laughs> okay. Now sorry. you got me in my head. No, I'm, so <laughs> I'm so in my head now. <laughs> All month long, we're doing a March Madness style bracket to pit 23 ska songs performed by Rancid in head to head battle to determine once and for all the greatest Rancid ska song of all time. Thanks for everyone who voted their predictions. If you want to follow along, the bracket is at challenge.com slash heptember and the challenge i don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it that's just how i pronounce it the matchups are seated based on chrono chronological order because we figure we're going to be biased towards their older songs so we wanted to give their first song or their newer songs a fighting chance and that's what round one was and we and so far that's proven true i would say so yeah apparently (laughs) so here's how it's going to work we've done our pre-show uh, that would have come out that has all of the post-Operation IV rancid uh, dalliances and side projects. Round one uh, was just the CPSC crew. And Craig is here for round two. And then we have two more after this to get to the oh, finals. We need to ask, what what do you look for in a rancid song, Craig? What's your, um, what's yeah. your Me like, personally? Favorite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like it when they're a little bit different. Um, and I don't mind the slower rancid songs. Yeah. So no, you don't like slow songs, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I, I was the I was the one picking the slower songs for the most part last time, I think. I think so. Yeah. But yeah, I also I like, like to pick songs song. that I think I can show other people that they might like that don't necessarily listen to Rancid. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's a, a transferable rancid, yeah. rancid song. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like it. So when we're th- we're thinking rancid best so, rancid song, it's culturally the best one. Yeah. So I'm something. thinking things that I might want to show my dad. And he'd go, I like this song. So that's as well. That as well. So who is Rancid? <laughs> they are a punk rock band formed out of the ashes of Operation Ivy and other Bay Area punk and ska acts. They were formed to be focused on the members' street punk influences and embrace their love of The Clash. After squirreling around with Berkeley label Lookout for a while, they signed with burgeoning punk label and friend Brett of Bad Religion's Epitaph to release the bulk of their albums. After flirting with major labels, they stuck with their guns and released And Out Come the Wolves on Epitaph to widespread, critical acclaim, gold record status in 1995. Second single, Time Bomb, arguably kicked off third wave ska on the radio and began the band's multiple flirtations with ska music for years to come. The band would continue... So flirty. (laughs) So flirty. Not slutty, just flirty. The band would continue... That's a good thing. Not be negative. No, it doesn't have to be negative. I'm just saying. I wrote flirtations. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't say the band's multiple slutations with ska music for years to come. We should have. <laughs> <should've, laughs> I band, guess you're not funny enough. I guess I'm not funny enough. You should have absolutely punched that up for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, imagine if I punched up this. It'd be nonsense. Imagine if... no words. I'm trying to imagine a world where you read this and decide that you want to do anything. Oh, I would, I would check out after the first sentence. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be just like, it's fine. It's fine, Rob. I'm like... It's fu- yeah, this is fine. But put more exclamation points. You don't sound excited enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story of my life where people, I'm like, I'm really excited about it. And they're like, you sound excited about it. And I'm like, listen, you. Everyone. <laughs> listen, the everyone. World. Uh, Flir- flirty rancid. Yeah, flirty rancid. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. The band was. <laughs> <laughs> the band would continue to have huge success being one of the biggest selling punk acts and in 2003 would release the major label backed Indestructible being the band's biggest album ever peaking at 15 on Billboard and cementing the band's legacy forever further launching the members to rock star status which they maintain to this day who is ranted it's Tim Armstrong on guitar and vocals Lars Fredrickson also guitar and vocals Matt Freeman on the bass 
and Brett Reed on the drums, and later Brandon Steinekart would also take over drums from The Used. Mm. So we got our matchups underway. We have eight matchups, okay. 16 tracks to get through. So this is where we're going to kick off. Oh, man, just right off the bat. This is the number one seeded song, yep. y'all. I, I what? what this is time ta- this is time bomb this oh is, that's crazy. this is the og y'all I even yeah. track up four yet. <laughs> from rancid's 95 album and out come the wolves tells a tale of well-dressed rude boy that attempts to escape his rough life through organized crime meeting an expected end it hit number eight on the modern rock charts launching rancid into the mainstream effectively making them the first true radio ska hit it borrows lyrics from rancid's previous song motorcycle ride so why don't we listen to it i don't have them clipped by the way because this is uh our first listen of these but here we go here we go the one and only time bomb it's okay don't play i'll sing it <laughs> don't worry if you wanna make a move then you better come in it's just a ability that reason that we're so thin living and dying and the stories that are true sink could do a collapse knowing when you're through Yeah, you know what? It's a good ass song. <laughs> so I mean, we're just gonna have to listen to the whole thing if we. I mean, any longer. this is this is the one step beyond. Of, yeah, it of, is. of September. Yeah. It's it's the yeah. one that's right I'm up there. I'm hoping. Definitely. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't win, but we'll see. Well, we we are the ones that determine that. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't determine how I'm gonna feel in the moment. That's true. Mm-hmm. Once it gets like it's a fucking fantastic song there might be it, a freddy for our leader yeah it honestly is like a perfect song there's uh, very yeah, little it, to criticize about the weird thing with it is that for me it i've heard it thousands of times and yet it hasn't lost that element for me like i'm not sick well, of it not i can't seem house. to get sick of it yeah, yeah, it's we, not an our house situation. Yeah. Like, we covered it in our good. band, so I I've listened to that goddamn bass line like a thousand times, like just and it's still great, and it's not a showy Matt Freeman bass line, and it's yeah. just really solid. Um, Carrying the melody, yeah, and it's just just the opening, like you know, salvo is just like great. You know what you're getting in for, yeah. Uh, pretty great song. It's also in the movie Peter Rabbit. Is it really? Yes. Like the 3D animated. <laughs> That's movie? right. Is it? <laughs> it sure is. He, they, is it what? What scene? They, when they yeah. wreck the house, when they go into the McGregor house, and they, oh, they I thought there was like over. a bit. My of kids have watched like, that like yeah. three times, and I don't. I don't know. I might have tuned out mentally from watching it. <laughs> You're fine. like, I don't is, need to listen to anything. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a C plus movie. Um, <laughs> it's only great because it has it's no rise of group. <laughs> because it has my. It has Rose Byrne and uh, fucking what's his name? One of those. Uh, yeah, but James Corden is the voice of Peter Rabbit. So say that again. No, the like... guy from Ex Machina is the McGregor son. You and McGregor. No, anyway, he's he's a guy. Yeah, Obi Wan. Does he have a nice Obi's little the... braid? Oh yeah. wait, no, he doesn't have a little braid anymore because that was a uh... Gleason. Gleason. That's a young one. Jedi Got thing. It. Yeah, I didn't have to... Is Gleason? that what they call it? Was, them, it was, young it was Jedis? a Gleason. Yes. <gasps> That'd be a cool rap name. Young Jedi. That exists. Why? Uh, well, Does Jedi hands. mind. Jedi mind tricks is a. But young. Yeah, is but a... young Why U N G? I don't love it. Anyway, <gasps> or Jed I, and you could be like Jed Jed I. You could be kind of like doing like um run Amish thing. So remember <laughs> when I said that nothing Jedi. from Let the Dominoes Fall came through? I <laughs> fucking full blown lied. Track oh. the second one is I ain't worried. Track six from Rancid's 2009 album Let the Dominoes Fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lyrically similar to the song Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, but ska. <laughs> uh, drummer Brendan tried Less to emulate punk rock. The, yeah. <laughs> Drummer Brendan tried to emulate the drum style of Dave Mello and Op Ivy's Unity, and Matt Freeman played an uncharacteristic, pure downstrokes motor, uh, as noted to Dee Dee Ramone. Uh, this is one of those um, those rancid songs where all three vocalists going around. Yeah, this yeah. is the one with the sweet rap. <clears throat> oh, is this the rapping one? Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Craig's face. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. I ain't worried. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, this song fucking rocks, actually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't worried about a goddamn thing. I ain't worried about, about a goddamn, goddamn thing. thing. Good. 
Yeah, we gotta wait for the mat. Yeah, rap. we have to wait for the mat rap. <laughs> it's something else. I think it comes up right away. I think he's second, yeah. Or is it? I think it is. Nope, nope. Lars rap. Yeah. Which isn't bad. This we just listen, we bad. always listen to most of this song. <laughs> <laughs> we have to hear all of them. They all took a turn. Yeah, I know. What are they, What's those rap groups that do that? Lots of rap groups. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> all rap Blue groups? Tanks. Yeah. <laughs> The Wu Tang of punk rock. The Wu Tang of rap. Wait, 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 wait. Here it is. I'm not coming out. Six, four, four, get a cut, slip. I'm not coming out. All right, that's comedy. That's that's good. Okay. I mean, I don't think Matt Freeman needs to do any rapping. <laughs> no. <laughs> So it honestly kind of worked with Tim and Lars. Yeah. It did kind of work. The more I listen to that song, the more I'm into it. I, <laughs> I've been listening to the Heptember playlist on Spotify because uh, I worked on the, the theme song this week, so I was getting inspiration. So I was listening to all these songs. And every time this one came on, I was like, the rapping is cheesy. But, like, they had to know it was cheesy, right? Like, No. To, I think they were. I think we discussed cheesy. it last time. I think they were going for it. <laughs> What year was that again? 90 something? No. Oh, was... 2009? Yeah. <laughs> too late. This is post transplant. <laughs> too, too so who's a better. Right. So they were all confident. They were so all who's, feeling who's confident a better rap after group? the transplant? J5 or Rancid? <laughs> uh, Rancid. Yeah. Sure. What do you mean J5? What's J5? Jurassic, Jurassic five. 5. What's Jurassic 5? What? Hip, oh, hip what? Hip I'm not familiar. Yeah, I don't know. This What's is not that? This is not Slin rap. No. No, they're, they're very like positive, hippity hoppy. Yeah, no. Yeah, Chicago like guys, Ch- Chali Tuna, etc. Yeah. Very are musical. Bad, are they bad at rapping? No, they're no. Yeah, they're yeah. incredible oh, rappers. Yeah. Like, so you're joking that yeah. Rancid's better like, than Like probably them. like okay. some of the best technical <laughs> rappers just, yeah. ever. Yeah. I saw Chali Tuna once here at the what about shop Common? And he had like a live band. What about Common? Great. Common's good. You know, Tech Nine. I listen to Tech Nine. He's a technical rapper. Tech Nine is a technical yeah. rapper. Tech <laughs> Nine he, goes hard, he man. He rips Holy. on stage. He's fucking awesome. And I love the Juggalo connection. Yeah, he's genuinely. Except he always. I've noticed. A couple guy, he does yeah. repeat some rhymes like he likes to talk about jerking it a lot so he does, loves talking about so does Busta. and he was like and i was jerking it and i was jerking it and i was jerking it and i'm like i guess it does rhyme with a lot of things and he's uh, jerking it and he says a lot of words so yeah. i mean he has to hit the same words every now and then you know what i mean like he says like three times as many lyrics as a lot of rappers yeah. out there he's so got to be repeating some of them sometimes yeah. it's like dr seuss dr yeah. seuss only used 200 words right so so fast. Really? Except for yeah. the ones he made up, yeah. Only 200. How many uh, words did he make up? A significant amount, yeah. <laughs> but he only used, he, that was his whole thing, 200, 200 uh, English words so that people could learn how to read. Oh, yeah. you do. Um, okay, let's vote on it. Time Bomb versus I Ain't Worried. And if there's a tie, by the way, because we have four people, I'm going to the Discord to get a tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't think there's going to be a tie, though, but we'll see. Okay. A tie bomb? Are you ready? Can we Craig, call it a Craig, tie bomb? Craig, do you have a do you have your vote in? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ready? Three. Time bomb. I ain't worried. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're just doing that. You're just saying you would have you would have walked it back if there no, wasn't. No, <laughs> I like that one more. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I I actually I, like I said, I really like I ain't worried. The more I listen to it, no, I like, yeah. Time it's bomb not... is like unfuckwithable though I, I know the lyrics from it and i haven't listened to let the dominoes fall that much so it must have been one of the songs that got stuck in my head from it yeah i think it's ca- i genuinely think it's catchy i, I just don't I think like matt up- freeman should rap yeah, uh, yeah it's I, I actually i really like the higher word even though i yeah, make fun of my um, initial thought kind of like- when i was listening to it earlier is that i feel like the song itself goes on for about a minute longer than it needs to because it sort of just feels there's like it's really cool uh like middle eight bit which has got a uh, sort of a uh, creepiness to it yeah it is it's spooky got, it's got a little yeah. spooky part. it's and yeah, the spooky whole thing's got that kind of like pumpy yeah. like do 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 kind of like mm-hmm. baseline kind of which is cool and they don't do that often so yeah. it's yeah 
cool song. It's a good song. I feel like there's it's no Billy, time bomb. Though. I feel like ra- Billy's like rancid. Yeah, Billy's do love. Yeah, rancid. like time bomb. I can show to my dad, and he'd be like, "I th- actually think he already knows that song." So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a radio song yeah. for twenty some odd years. So. It's got it's got two tone. It's it's two tone adjacent. I would say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The next matchup. All right, we got Crane Fist, track nine from Rancid's '98 album Life Won't Wait. This is one of Joey's favorite songs. Yeah, much like yeah, Time Bomb. Me as well. This is yeah. the one. This is the tie where I'm like, I I generally don't know. Oh, the, yeah, the next Cocktails two. Okay. is a great song too. Yeah, we got two Life Won't Wait yeah. songs back to back. This is another organized crime song. Uh, actually, a lot of I notice a lot of their ska songs are, tend to be mobby. Yeah, wait, wait. or about drug addicts. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. Junkies yeah. and mob guys. Yeah, yeah. big time. Uh, influenced by the Wu Tang Clan. Speaking of which, brought them back, utilizing kung fu movies as a yeah cream as a <laughs> backdrop for an exploration of dub and reggae. Let's listen to it. Crane Fist. Within the same school, the idea was that we'd later combine both styles. And the baseline is fucking ridiculous. Out of control. But still, we were too young, too full of ignorance. This is spooky too. Yeah, and it's all talk about anarchist communist shit. Sweet. It has the most nonsensical tip lyrics. Oh, no, That's fun. So scary. I just want to get to the Tim rapping part because it's wild. Oh, maybe it just happened. Yeah. God damn, this song is good. Uh, a rare Lars Led. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Anyway, yeah. uh, that's, that's very cool. fun. That's, that's cool. very, very the, good. The Tim part that comes up after has the most mishmashy words. Like, if you <laughs> look it up on Google, the lyrics have like question marks in like six places. Okay, back. <laughs> He's just backing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The time would make sense. Yeah, yeah. back time. Yeah. Craig, I love that song. Yeah, yeah, that's a sick uh, ass song. If you can't tell, that song's right, right up my street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a sweet, that's a sweet song. I'm very. Have we not listened to it yet, or no, do I forget no, it? Okay, no. yeah. this is that, that this is fresh. That's very that good. That song, I think, was like when I got "Life Won't Wait." The first time I listened through it. I was a little bit confused, I think. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not like a normal Rancid song. Yeah, but well, even just the whole album, I was like, I, I, I remember the first spin through not really totally being sold on the whole thing. And then getting hooked on Crane Fist, which is the weirdest song on the album, I would say. That should be a t-shirt. Hooked on Crane Fist. Hooked on Crane Fist. Yeah, Yeah, totally. Um, But I got got hooked on that one weird ass song. And then from there, my love of the rest of the album kind of grew. And this is like right when it released, right? So my, I mean, I would just pretty much only listen to like Rancid and No Effects at that point. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's such a crazy good song. So good. Yeah. And it's really, really long. (laughs) Oh, I love that song. Big fan. Yeah. Life Won't Wait is my favorite Rancid album. I want to say that as well, slightly. Yeah. Wow. Depends what mood I'm in. Spooky party time punk rock. Yeah. Let's that go, does. Let's if, I don't think spooky second. was the third one, but yeah. it is. It's in there now. It's a strong addition. Cash culture like... and violence on there as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and Blood Clot's a great song too. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of good songs. And not all of them made it on here. Like there's a no. lot of reggae adjacent. But I think when. Because we pulled a lot of these songs from the uh, All the Moon Stompers comp. And I thought yeah. they did a pretty good cross section of what the uh, what the Rancid songs are. Or the Scott songs from the album are. So. And it's going up against a yeah. So cocktails is the other one. Track fourteen from the same album. Life won't wait. Uh, true to the lyrical thesis, the song tells tale of poverty and depression. This time around drug addiction. Uh, so yeah, cocktails from Life Won't Wait. For that harmonica. 
Oh, yeah. Which only showed up on like, oh, wait, I think. I don't know if it showed up any later, but. Yeah. Oh, Roll, choke, choke, the line is choked. Smoke the last dollar to a name. Are you buying? Are you selling, girl? Talking square. Never change. And if I Fucking bass player. Really yeah, know that's just what it means that melody is all there in the bass. It's so good. Oh, she's missing cocktails in a squat down avenue. See, Lord of mercy. They don't have a horn section, so they use our harmonica. Yeah, <laughs> that's his brass. That's it. Yeah. yeah, the bass hit it clean on the most list things, and oh, to give her a fight. Hey. Is the Dave Matthews band? <laughs> like literally, that sounds like the exact like that. If it was a harmonica, we were listening to the Dave Matthews band. What's it? The male mountain on monkey on a chain. No man, no no one would you say? <laughs> that's what i heard that song's not good i'm sorry i don't like that oh. i don't like that at all wow <laughs> so i really uh, i might say that i might <laughs> slightly prefer the last gang's version of it from that um Rans oh yeah the cover is good the, yeah, the cover they done is really good of that i like the last gang they're they're yeah they're, they're a really rad. good band their yeah. new album's really good as well what we... would you say <laughs> joseph <laughs> cocktails uh, it's a fun song. <laughs> <laughs> Let's criticize. <laughs> <laughs> now that you said it and, and, yeah. and pointed out the Dave Matthews videos yeah. of some of that harmonica. I, I don't listen to Dave it. Matthews band, so I can't <laughs> comment on that. <laughs> you will. Kate, My mind is not to, tainted. Would you say? I'm going to send you it later, and you'll be like, "Wow!" And honestly, I li- I, gen- I know that many lyrics because I like that, that song. song. I don't. I think that song's called Ants March. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Of course, Dave Matthews man's gonna be weird about it. They're like college, college. I know who girl. they are. They know a song with Jurassic Five. <laughs> I know who they? they are. I don't know what you know. hear in Britland. Yeah, Maybe I, mean, it, I, don't I guess what you hear in Britland. I don't know what you hear in Britland. I don't know if Dave Matthews. No, they are big. Weird. I just don't listen to them. Yeah, no, right, I know who they are. Move. That's Sorry. the right move. Yeah, is to acknowledge their existence and not listen and to them. Move on. Our mother. Uh, I'm good to make my them. vote. I'm good to make my vote. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I'm yeah. pretty torn. <laughs> <laughs> Craigie baby, what about you? You're good. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll go on the spot. All right, three, two, one. Craigie fist. fist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah unanimous. unanimous. Yeah, yeah. Cocktails I really love Craigie fist. But Craigie wow. fist. I like cocktails. Like... I like that song yeah. a lot. That means that Crane Fist is going up against Time Bomb next. Oh week. no! All right, well, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what's going off in there. I don't know. I kind of like Crane Fist more. Uh, we'll have to see next week because it's new a, to me. A different cut of the song, right? Is that and it right? depends who your guest is next I week as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah depends if they can hang like or not. Six minutes long, I think. Um, great. So next matchup we have is uh, so life won't wait. The title track oh, from man, track five from Rance's. Yeah, this, this is a good one. So hard. Uh, <laughs> it's only the so second won't... round. I know. Yeah. <laughs> a unity track in Battle Cry for Harmony and release of ten of racial tensions. It was co-written by Life Won't Wait collaborator Vic Ruggiero and features toasts by controversial Hellcat mainstay Buju Banton. Oh my God, but uh, Life Won't Wait is a very good song. So let's listen to it. Probably the best chorus refrain. Thing. Oh, it's so fucking good. It's my favorite song from the album. I, I think it's mine as well. Yeah, this is sweet. Oh, wait yeah. for the chorus. Oh, it's so it fucking good. Than your brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this has a lot of question marks on people too. And it's not a bad rap; it's a good rap. Yeah. Is this fake <laughs> Jamaican or no, no, just no, question mark, question mark, question mark? Like, yeah. It's just Tim mumbles. Yeah, Tim mumbles. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, the toast. This is one of the only songs oh, that I like listened to from Rancid, like on my spare time growing up. Yeah. Because I found it God like spooky damn, enough to yeah. like go in with my psych belly songs. Oh yeah. I think that's and I like ska, of, so it was think, like enough. It checked all the boxes. It does check all the boxes yeah, for me. I, I like that, that very is much. One of the only album title tracks where I'm like, that is the best song on the record. Yeah, that's a sick song. They don't do a lot of title tracks now. But just in general, usually when I listen to an album where it's named after one of the songs on the album, I'm like, yeah, I guess it's a good album name, but it's usually not my favorite song on the album. In this case, it's undeniably the best song on the album. It's so good. Tell your sister and your brother. I I really like that song. Uh yeah, I'm no, I like I like spooky music like Celine does. So <laughs> you're, you're probably more uh you've probably heard more stuff with toasting than maybe all of us have. Uh how do you feel what? about the toasting in this song? I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh. <laughs> 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 but yeah, we didn't get to it. But Buju Banton does yeah. the, the yeah, toast in it. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. The toasting yeah. is pretty fucking Yeah, yeah. Good. So we we've, we've talked about Buju Banton a little bit on a previous episode, but he he is a controversial figure because he is um incredibly homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. Uh he I think he's walked back a lot of his That comments, is pretty yeah. pop because like, he's from Jamaica, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a to be fair to him, not giving him a pass, that is a greater issue in Jamaica. Yeah. But it's like very dangerous to be out and gay in Jamaica. Yeah. You yes. could die. Yeah. Especially if you're from Jamaica. If you're a tourist, it doesn't matter. But yeah. it's the greater issue in the culture. Yeah. So to be fair, he's a product of his environment. Not excusing it, but it's a deeper issue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he was like, like Tim loves Buju Banton, uh, released a bunch of stuff on Hellcat. And hates him. gay people. Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> that's no, that's just what people speculate. Oh, that's why people are upset. Right. Because they, Cause yeah. Because right, he signed it. Right. Yeah. And that's the, why and people response, have, yeah. like, yeah, on, when I say people, it's just deep Reddit posts. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever that means. <laughs> Yeah, the same yeah. the same people who think the birds were uh, <laughs> birds. you're on, the, you're on birds, birds not real, and they're just and like. They're, also, yeah. I have a thought about Hellcat Records. Yeah, <laughs> they're uh, drones. So life won't wait. Tim Armstrong has drone energy. <laughs> he has AI punk rock energy. When he sings, sometimes it's sort of droney. Yeah. Uh, so like, life won't wait is going up against <laughs> "Evil's My Friend." Track four from Rancid's 2014 album, Honor is All We Know. Evil is a friend so, of mine. Evil is my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's I cool. have a friend so, named Evil. <laughs> this is opposite. <laughs> <It's> opposite. <laughs> also spooky. Ooh, the song is good. <laughs> yes, Rancid's pretty spooky. Yeah. This is a really good song. It's very good. Yeah. This song is yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. pretty much my favorite. Like, I love Up to No Good from Let the Dominoes, but this, Evil's My Friend, might be my favorite, like, modern rancid ska song. That's this a sweet is song. an incredibly difficult matchup. Yeah, this one's tough. I, I'm trying what was the other very, song again? Uh, D- <laughs> Division is a new world order. Is a new world. Oh, yeah. this is really hard. Yeah. I don't think yeah. these two songs should be up against each other. <laughs> I know. Good like, it's too soon. <laughs> it's like, too honestly, soon. I'm trying not to be biased towards Life Won't Wait because... That's my favorite song off. Damn, like, that's my favorite like, album. that kind of sucks. But like, "Evil's My Friend" is what probably I'm, the best modern. What I'm thinking song. is like, what could stand up against "Time Bomb"? I kind of want to see "Time Bomb" go down. Like, I will honor <laughs> my truth, but yeah. like, I kind of want to see it go down. I don't like to me. That's not fun if "Time Bomb" just wins. So, what could stand up? In my, I'm asking, what do you think could stand up better against "Time Bomb"? What's wow. stronger Holy song? Shit. Wow. Well, I, I'm meta gaming. I, mean, I know you are, and, and <laughs> I always think do. about it that way. Evil's my friend is more similar to Time Bomb in that it's like an upbeat, dancier song. But 
Life Won't Wait is like heavier and more socially conscious. So it just depends what you're looking for in a rancid song. Yeah. yeah. Okay, really? let's go. Let's go. Do we, do we got it? We're just let's go. go. Well, I don't even know if I got it, but we'll we're doing okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Three, I know. two, one. Life, Life won't wait. wait. Oh, okay. oh, oh, man. I was... I was I almost, I, I almost yeah. did uh, evil's my friend. I just yeah. prefer oh, the lyrics on life won't wait to oh yeah yeah, yeah. Way... that division is the new world order yeah. refrain is like a, such a powerful lyric. I, I feel bad yeah. to, that it's gone so soon because yeah, it doesn't deserve that's that. That's a great song but... and and honestly could go up against time bomb. It almost could have for sure. Yeah, there's yeah. still there's still some 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 good. Oh yeah, some I hot mean... songs. This next lineup is Whew. uh, uh it's, gonna, it's, it's this gonna is just how it's gonna be. Oh, this something's next, getting taken down. Oh, this there's a there's <laughs> a real know. obvious one in this one. Okay, so the this next matchup we got. I want to riot the B side from Roots Radicals, which was also on Punkorama give One. Give him the roots, the yeah. roots, the radical. Yeah, give him the boot. You know he's a radical. Uh, it's a give the lyrics are about um uh, a riot and whether or not you to. wanting to do That's it. That's a boring song. Uh, <laughs> This is a skinhead song. This was like arguably their first ska song because it was released before and out come the wolves. Um, right. And as I'm and from the UK, I have to say that Cap Down also covered this song. Cap Down did cover this song. Yeah. The Cap Down cover. Hey, something I will say is that I feel like over Rancid's discography, they've organically hit and gone through different phases of countercultures and subcultures that have been like in and out of popularity at the time. Yeah. And it feels and sounds very authentic. Yeah. It's not differences with interrupters on the newest album. <laughs> they did a little hint of that throughout the album and it did not come up authentic. It was basically like Rancid's entire career oh. playing with like sounds and then put in one album. Interesting. So interesting. Thought. I just oh, feel like don't, they're don't Rancid. I just feel like yeah. Rancid like really organically and authentically gets into some cultures mm -hmm. and like honors them and plays into them Agreed. like yeah, yeah like and yeah. all of their side projects too like it feels very whatever you feel about them it feels very authentic to them rancid, and sincere rancid sound always they want to make like... money they like i think tim likes money oh but, yeah for but sure it, but also at this point... nobody nobody produces a pink record <laughs> no thinking that he's yeah. not gonna make it i like months. i would love some money i would yeah. sell out anyone asked no one's asked i'll rancid, sell out <laughs> rancid never sounds like they're affecting any sound they feel they sound like they're absorbing sounds yeah is is what it seems to me like they don't they don't seem to do a song where they're like let's do a song that's kind of like this mm -hmm. they just like they just absorb the sounds What's of the clash in or or yeah. yeah or they're you know or they something they're really genuinely into, into. Jamaica, yeah they got really into jamaican music sometime between you know like when they were really into ska and when they got more heavy into reggae like that it's not just a reggae influence on life won't wait like it's whole jamaican influence. and from what right. i can remember no fake in jamaican either no no no, no. just tim mumbles so, which almost yeah. can yeah it's, it almost gets <laughs> but it still sounds like tim though it doesn't sound it like does. he's... Yeah. yeah he's not putting yeah he doesn't yeah. fake in jamaican he just mumbles yeah yeah, yeah. I, I believe in one of the i don't know if it was the round one or the pre-episode but I, I said he the only thing that he changes is how like how much he turns the mumble on yeah because he can enunciate sometimes but sometimes he chooses to go yeah. like full marble mouth yeah you know? and that's that's but then though it wouldn't be rancid though would it it's right. like yeah it's totally. like if you took tom out of blink 182 and then you sing i miss you and you can't go where are you it's like it's not blink then is it yeah totally <laughs> where are you what if, Tim, what if... where are you <laughs> what if, i'm what so if Tim... sorry and i'm so sorry <laughs> Cannot leave. Cannot need a noise. I know Matt Skiba Noi. does that part now, but I can't even do like a valid Matt Skiba impression of doing it. Even though I saw them with Matt Skiba play that song, I'm pretty sure. But oh, so we can live like Jack and Sally if you want. <laughs> <laughs> What if I remember friends? when I was young and like goth, I was like, hey, that's our movie. Don't just like <laughs> make Nightmare Before Christmas too cool, okay? Stop mm -hmm. referencing our movie uh when uh we do karaoke nights one of celine's friends uh caitlin <laughs> always gets me to do that as a duet with her yeah because she likes to, to do, do where are you yeah, she likes to do the tom who doesn't yeah. like to mark. do that bit yeah <laughs> it's yeah, just who based doesn't on like that to do it? it's bit fun. and i just do the <laughs> oh miss you. Yeah. just the <laughs> stuff <laughs> remember when they used to just make fart jokes yep <laughs> that used to be their whole deal
Yep. Uh, Listen to their live album if you want some real stupidity that hasn't aged well. Uh, their their <laughs> tour with Less Than Jake was called A Trip Around Uranus. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Race Around Uranus. A Race <laughs> Around Uranus, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not just a trip. No, a race. There was a purpose. You know who else covered I Want to Riot? Rancid did. <laughs> Yeah, they with, played it two with, times. With the stubborn all stars, got him to come on to do horns. On the I actually, Beaver and the Boothead movie. That's right. I actually like that version a little bit better, but I was told I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> by the internet, you did, you did a poll <laughs> and you were very wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> Apparently, I, the the OG is the one that everyone likes. But you know what? Fucking love this song. So here's I want to riot. I think Evil's My Friend really hates this a little bit, too, now that I'm listening to it. You know what? If this and, and Evil's My Friend came up against one another, I might have voted Evil's My Friend. Yeah. I love I love this song, but if it was a different matchup. This is a good song, Bill. <laughs> I like it very much. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Very good. So good. Who, was it was it Keelan that said that they just wanted it, when he was trying to sing the Tim parts, he just made his tongue dead in his mouth. Yeah, he yes. did. did, 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 did. <laughs> it sounds like somebody being offensive to somebody else. It sounds like a doyoy. Yeah. You sound like that. <laughs> what are you thinking, a ranted tongue? I got a question. Oh man, I like it though. It's a good song, it's a good song. And, and it's going up against. Everybody's suffering. Track thirteen from "Honor Is All We Know," a cover of Laurel Aitken's classic. Every, uh, a very rare. Everybody's um, suffering. A very, a very rare cover features Liberty. organ by Kevin the Minion. Liberty and freedom. Did that I put the? Oh suffering? no no no! Everybody's suffering. Was Kevin to be is next. kind oh. of the most buzz oh, kill oh, of the Minion. Oh, we got the wrong one queued up. I put the wrong number. Liberty and freedom comes later. Don't you find yeah, Kevin's like the most buzz color. kill of the Minions? He's like the leader and the doer. Is that what it is? I think so. Oh, okay. Hey, Craig, what do you think about the Minions? We, we um, had I have to watch the Minions all minions. the time because of my children, as I'm sure yeah. Rob does as well. And I'm quite sick of the Minions. And I hate people that post pictures on Facebook of memes <laughs> of the fucking Minions. <laughs> Facebook is real Minion territory, isn't it? It's, it's um, so, Craig, I'm, I'm French. So I love the You're minions. Canadian. Yeah, we love <laughs> French Canadian. French Canadian, yeah. So it's a we mime. Jim mime. So I love my I love mime. Claire de Bois. <laughs> Alright, here's everybody suffering. Alright, here we go. Okay. I don't know. And it's also kind of got the boss reggae, skinhead reggae thing. Yeah. yeah. This is a fun song. This is good. Everybody suffering. What a This was on Given the Boo. It might have been. I think. Yeah, can you check? I am. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Not no, it's not a given the boot. Sorry, but it's a gooder. I yeah. do like that song. That is good. I, I was uh, driving home from work the other day, and I had it cranked up very loudly on the freeway, and I was enjoying it very much. It's a good it, song. The thing about rancid ska songs is that they because they don't do many. Like there's only twenty three technically. Uh, they I feel like they go out of the way to make them good when they make them. There's very few of them that are just like a full bad. Yeah, and now that you say that, like. 
especially in the more modern albums they haven't even bothered to really make them ska punk yeah like oh yeah just, no no they're just ska post songs. post poet's life uh tim's just like full-blown like i'm all in on just like making like yeah old school sounding ska music yeah yeah sick i'm good to vote uh i don't remember what the first i want to write i want to write <laughs> and then the everybody's, everybody's suffering. suffering cover okay okay craig you in you gotta, yeah, you I'm gotta good. vote yep three two I, I want to riot. riot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Everybody's suffering is good, but it, it. It's no, I want to riot. Yeah. It's no, no, I want to riot. And it's a cover. It's a real, it's a cover. um, everybody's got a story that could break your heart. You know, who's saying that? No idea. Everybody's <laughs> got a story that can break your heart. See my eyes. Don't see what I see. Touch my tongue. Don't uh, know what tastes good to me. We got a few more matchups to go, but let's take a break. And when <laughs> we get Cheryl back, Crow. we'll finish up our matchups, play a game, and do some questions. So let's take a break. Ready, ready, ready. (laughs) Welcome back to Checkered Past. Joey, Slynn, and Rob, and Common Sense Kid are here breaking down round two of Heptember for the best rancid songs. We got a few more matchups here, so let's tarry no further. Next, we have Daily City Train, track 10 from And Out Come the Wolves. Daily City Train. Is it Dally? I've already said Dally. It, <laughs> he says Daily in the song. But oh, okay. It's titled oh. Dally. Oh, I thought you were going to like. It might be I thought that was just in honor Maybe. of he, Craig. Like, yeah. Dilly Dally. Nope. A Dally City, a city Train. A I feel Dally like that would be train. too. I feel like that'd be a double L. Dilly Dally. Dally. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it'd be Dilly is D-I- I, I'm pronouncing it like L-L-Y. Andy Daly, the or like the AI Dal E. Hey, yeah, mm. just like that. <laughs> it's exactly like that. Lyrically, <laughs> it's a story rancid style song about a drug addict that Tim became friendly with and whom eventually completed completely disappeared. And Tim reflects on where they may have gone. There's only three ska songs on all of it. It was him the in the mirror the whole then, time. <laughs> <laughs> where did he go? I'm looking at the Tim in the mirror. <laughs> Daily city train. Hey, we also riffed on this at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> he was an artist and a writer. <laughs> And, and a poet. poet. And a friend. And a friend. <laughs> In a man's life, he will take a fall. But how low he goes, it just depends. Yeah, he should it don't. In the metro. That's the station. Then he said it's true. Okay, okay. Is this Dali? I heard Dali. <laughs> Time for the twin guitars. People, I uh, have a hard time with this rancid sound. To me, this is what oh. I was like over listened to is like this style Ooh, of rant. Like to me, it, nice. when all My of jam. the so- songs yeah. sound like Ruby Soho, the, hey, that's well, it might as album. well just yeah. be. No, I know yeah. the whole album just sounds like Ruby Soho. <laughs> well, and, and I find it a little yeah. white, nosy, noisy and boring. That's, that's a fair Even criticism. though there's like a couple good songs. But for me, this is like Lord I'm me? immediately kind of just like check out when I hear this sound of rancid. I'm in. I'm surprised pleasantly surprised by the other songs and i found a lot of really good rancid songs that i wasn't aware of or didn't appreciate until now but that sound is so boring to me Ooh. i understand it's not bad i'm not saying it's bad i just think it's boring and the album just is a little real big fishy and where it just becomes white noise Whoa. <laughs> Craig. how do you feel Greg? Craig? Hot. i'm swimming in hot on daily city I'm, train but you just roasted all of us with that yeah hot you take. all were having a nice time that was a hot take. All you like yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make i'm gonna make s'mores because there's so much roasting going on i don't feel bad about that one <laughs> everyone uh, is guys... entitled to their opinion yeah, yeah. <laughs> even if it's wrong <laughs> craig it's daily city train i love that song i love that album though so it, it's a hot bop 
Yeah. yeah that's, you, all, <laughs> you all like it very much. You're yeah, like, very much. this is like fun. You don't find it. I was like, I was like, Brett Reed is like a drumming machine on this one. Usually there, it's uh, reco- it sounds good. How does that not make you want to dance? Yeah. It's boring. I just, uh, this is where I'd go get a beer. I'd I be love, like, uh, all right, I'll get a beer. I, I've said it before. I love twin guitar skating. Also, Ruby, that album yeah, was just it. overplayed for me. I, like, yeah. at the old Rock Maybe that's what it is. It, that was yeah. just played and played, and everybody I knew, and it was like my, it just like played oh, and totally. played. And Ruby Soho to me is just so boring. I don't know. Yeah. Just I, not my I do, way. I do think most rancid songs, well, no, I think an outcome will specifically is about five songs too long. Uh, now because i don't have a lot of patience right but it's not bad i don't <laughs> but, hate it i don't hate it yeah. it's just in comparison it's to the other grain so fist is way cooler than that that's on like one way yeah. yeah that's on a different but then like rob, rob said earlier it's like maybe now as you're older life won't wait is the better Speaks album to me right yeah right because totally. different yeah might speak to your what you like like when now. You, i think i was must have been like 15 or 16 when i heard and now come the wolves and it's like it, that was like the second stage of gateway albums so like you got blink way two and then like real big fish and stuff like that and then i moved on to like no effects and rancid and bad religion and that was the sort of m- my favorite album out of the second lot of gateway music i guess yeah, if I didn't have other music to compare it to, or it was like a newer sound to me. And yeah, I'm talking like well, I discovered that yeah. when like the internet first came out. That like, would be I more first exciting. got the internet. So yeah, and I was gonna say, and at the time when you were about the same age, you were like it's pretty testosterone-y too. It's pretty dude. Yeah, but but you were like. 14, 15 year old boy. School. Yeah. Yeah. But you were like going to an art school where people were like feeding you punk rock and stuff. Yeah. At the time. So Rancid was, we discussed heard. this. Rancid was like not punk enough. Like in my yeah. like group and people I was around, it was like posery if you liked. Rancid. I don't and, feel and, that way now, yeah, but it was but, like. But oh, yeah, yeah. Wolves was it wasn't most- like commercially crust enough or most, crass enough yeah, or whatever yeah and for my age that was that was blink 182 and green day so that's yes, the age difference totally. there yeah yes yeah. totally totally i think uh, that and that's what joey was saying too yeah. it's like his generation rancid was badass and cool yeah like in thompson i i, I think i messaged met, mentioned it on an earlier episode in thompson it was like no effects was the uncool band if you were into punk rock but rancid was like the cool band and oh no, no. so that. i'm a bit i'm a bit younger than joey yo. so like kids my age got into skate punk at least from like blink way 2 and green day and the offspring so yes and yeah. then when you found no effects rancid and bad religion that was a, that, that was the harder stuff so that's yes, how totally it and then you transition. got punkorama or whatever you yeah know, yeah the, the land the bands that are another yeah like dwarves and all that yeah. sort of stuff yeah totally right. oh you know what holds up really well the dwarves, the dwarves are good looking yeah all the dwarves are sweet actually yeah cool. <laughs> yeah, really but yeah pretty much all of hellcat records would have been like not punk enough but i still like liked a lot of hellcat oh record yeah bands. but like that hellcat. i still like it was like it i loved a lot of hellcat bands but it would be like more closeted i'd have to be like no i don't like the horror pops i like guana bats you know or like, <laughs> like the meteors on the, you know on the, on the, but i was like i love horror pops on the ska show. side though hellcat was like this is where the real ska was right, right? It's di- like, it was different even punk like and the gadgets Billy. were like the the coolest ska band ever when the first give them the boot came out it's true like, the gadgets yeah Anyways, um, it's an intro. It's interesting to like discuss this because I'd yeah. I'd say people from my generation would would differ. Can I yeah. also say that there's something I completely forgot about? Like I keep talking about the time I saw Rancid when the Aquabats opened as like the show. I was like, oh yeah, I, there's the one time I saw Rancid and the Aquabats opened. I completely forgot that we saw Rancid play and Outcome the Wolves in its entirety at uh, Punk Rock Bowling. Oh yeah. We <laughs> oh, we did. saw. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> did we all forget that that? Happened? Yeah, yeah forgot. Forgot. that's yeah. wild. I haven't I seen forgot Rancid that once. I've seen Rancid. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. And we weren't even that drunk because no. we got too drunk the first night and had hangovers the rest of the time. Yeah. And we could I couldn't drink. I got wasted. That's how, always how I do Vegas. I get fucking shit faced the first night and then I'm to nursing fair, a hangover and can barely be drink fair, the rest of the time. We got off the plane and went to a gimme gimme's manic Hispanic show. Obviously we were And it was partying. like in a dirt. Yeah, we got yeah. fucking wasted. It was very wasted. fun though. It was oh, very fun. That was so fun. anyway, I just had that moment of clarity where I'm like, oh right. <laughs> yeah, the whole album. <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. And <laughs> that was like back. a big deal. That's why a lot it was of people a huge went deal. to like punk rock bowling that year was to see that. And now that I'm remembering it, 
it was incredible. It was very good. They it also, was like it was not good. a note out of place. Yep, they it was put a, on a how do I remember seeing killer show. Jello by Afra and <laughs> spoken word and not <laughs> rancid? I remember the the Yugans were in full force. Oh, yeah. so many uh, I guess yeah, Turbo yeah. Negro. That was yeah. fun. That Turbo Negro. Yeah, Turbo Negro. Put on an awesome show. Crazy Anyways, good show. We digress. That's uh, crazy that we've seen rancid. <laughs> It's only wow. the third them. episode of us doing this that we yeah. just realized we had all seen it I together them, at the same time. Tour, like a bajillion years ago, and that was where I was pulling dark. my rants and live memories me. from. But that one is much more recent. Yeah, that wasn't even that long. ago. No, it was like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, oof, oof. six maybe. Cool. All right, Start so daily. Wow, me. that was digression. Like to <laughs> end all digressions. Daily City Train is going up against Liberty and Freedom. Track fifteen from Let the Dominoes Fall. Another song from there. Man, I really fucked up when I said that comment. Yeah, the you did. That's like the third, isn't it? Uh, inspired by classic protest songs, uh, details classic elements of censorship, civil oppression, working class re- resistance, liberty and freedom. Don't love that song title, but we pushed it through. I think it's tongue in cheek about like, liberty and freedom. Or they're, you know, making a statement that it's not actually. Liberty and freedom. Yeah, Tim a little snarky. Yeah. Like they're pro lip like I mean I think they like liberty and freedom. But they're not getting it. Currently not getting it. Yeah. Everyone is just part of sun. You see, one side claims victory, but it's just a zero sum. Liberty and freedom. This isn't that good. <laughs> this must have been against a flop. I think it was. <laughs> it's not the worst. It's not the worst. This is a it's not the mediocre. Worst. This is Go Girl Give Us Nothing. <laughs> We're just crushing it off. Go Tim, give us so nothing. Uh, yeah, that was like yeah. a pretty Billy-ish solo too. Yeah, that was a Gretchy. Well, he plays a Gretchy. He plays right? a Gretchy. Yeah. He Gretchy's. Yeah. Yeah, you can Craig, hear, you can hear it. It's a, a bit, that one's a bit dull. Dull, right? Yeah. He's trying to do. He was trying to do a Woody Guthrie song. Is what he said when I read an interview about it. Scooty Woody Scothry. Woody Scothry. Oh yeah. He was going for something. He was referencing something. I got a better one. This scotching kills fascists. There we go. (laughs) Reuse the scotching pun. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, that's what I got. This is Allison's restaurant. This is a real poor poor choice for you, but I think the rest of us Scallison's restaurant. What was the first (laughs) Daily City Train, which you went on a five minute tear about how terrible it is. (laughs) What was the second one? (laughs) This Liberty and Freedom (laughs) one that we just listened to. Okay, okay, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Liberty City and Freedom. (laughs) We all said it together. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, son. (laughs) You're gonna have to listen to Daily City Train. Again. I love Liberty Dilly Dally City and Free. Don't Dilly Dally. You'll miss the city train. <laughs> Maybe that's what it means. <laughs> Hooligans. <laughs> Track eight from Rancid the 98 album. The Good Life choice. Won't Wait. The Tube. It is a Boot Boys. It is a racial unity song and a tribute to hooliganism and skinhead culture. They say right in the song, they don't want no racial hatred. No, none. It's uh, co written by Vic Ruggiero again and features. Three members of the specials, uh, Roddy Radiation, Linville Golding, and Neville Staple. So uh, Neville does some, he goes, Rancid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very entertaining. Awesome. Yeah. Hooligans. Rancid? rancid? It's like Good a question. Boys. Rancid? Yeah. It's very He's good. asking a question, but yeah. he never yeah. gets an answer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hooligans. There he is. <laughs> Cal- Cal- <laughs> yeah! It's a new face it's of rock and roll. face of rock and roll. That's a little Billy. <laughs> Talk about how hot times go. Yeah, the hot times go. And I say, come on, come on. What a hula kid that poop was all I wanted for sure. Scott's been stricken on their face. What a hula kid that poop was all I wanted for sure. Scott's been stricken on their face. What man position brings another's opposition completely I'm bound Down on the flats where the seaside meets my lonely old town Where all the rooties and scares where they're out on the street making their way on the grill Between the violence and sex they smash and they wreck for something to live Well, all the hood that gets that good boys know what they're for sure Scott's been stricken on their 
Scarboy JFK. <laughs> Scarboy JFK. That is also a good song. Scarboy JFK. Yeah, I love that song. I might listen to it on the way home now that you're talking about it. Why are you antagonizing me about it? Why are you yeah, antagonizing I love that song. It's actually, yeah. I'm actually going to listen to it right now. How can you show me play it? Actually, yeah. We're going to do. We're gonna redo our whole Cherry Pop and Daddy's Adding episode. a song in brackets. Scarboy <laughs> JFK is uh, a boring song. How do you feel about hooligans? That was pretty... That was not... Did you, did you like that there were four guitar players? Was there? That yes. doesn't seem necessary. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to the real good part of the song, to be honest. Yeah, there were, uh, I love that song. Yeah, <laughs> I love too. that song like, as well. Yeah, like, love that song. Love it's that song. It came on and I was like, oh. song. I was bopping. I was like, yeah. yeah. I don't find it, like, catchy enough. What? <laughs> I know. I feel like you guys... <laughs> it's like, insanely... good boys. Boot boys. We don't want no... Again, really how can you not want to dance to that? <laughs> That's not dancing. I'm not a dancing person, but like, and I am a dancing person. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Good dancing. I wouldn't be too good dancing. I'd even maybe side to side to Ruby Soho, but I wouldn't dance to that. What's with Ruby Soho? I just everyone always fucking plays Ruby Soho. Slated Ruby Soho, but you dance side to side to it, but not hooligans. (laughs) I feel like it's too much of a boots. Again, I feel like it's a little too dudely energy for me. Maybe a little skinny, a little too boy. Yeah, I'm not into Mm. super skinny or like that. Doesn't I I guess what the other song is then? Again, there's just a sound. What year is this one? Ninety-eight. Yeah, like, it's like a sound. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is kind of like a sound. I'm get, I'm starting to get worried. Like I, I, we didn't play any of these like classic rancid songs on our first uh, round. I'm just and like, you're on dunking the- hard on them. Like I was not <laughs> expecting donuts. This. I've liked not, a lot no, of songs. No, not for this song. I thought I thought you'd like this song. Yeah, me yeah, too. Me too. <laughs> I don't know. It just didn't sound good in my ear. I didn't enjoy it. I think wow. you're still upset about the whole Instagram thing. <laughs> That's why I did say I was going. Yeah. I, yeah. Rob she said I didn't need little to bit explain crabby myself. Today. <laughs> and I said I need to say up top why I'm going to be a little extra spicy today. And Rob was like, that's not necessary. It is necessary. <laughs> so spicy. So spicy. Yeah, this I, okay, I, I'm this enjoying it. Okay, you're, you're, it's you're a, like a pack you might of change your mind when we all put it through yeah. the next round. I believe you. I, might. I believe you like this next song. I believe you like it. <laughs> this is wrongful suspicion. Who knows? I'm a I, who knows? Today. I can't. I can't even like. There's no. That prediction. was pre Instagram gate. Yeah. yeah, track track 18 on life won't wait. This this cleared through the first round. That was crescent dot moon dot creative. Song. I am now crescent dot moon dot creative underscore Two. underscore. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Two. The, so she's different. Real. Yeah. The real Crescent Moon. Yeah. Um, the song was written by Tim Armstrong. <laughs> Three of And the Slackers, Vic Ruggiero. Anti-establishment song, particularly the Antebellum South, features shoutouts to New York hardcore scene. Uh, yeah, this is a good song. This is good song. This is good song. I hate this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a slow song. No, that's fun. That's yeah. fun. That's fun. I, this is good. This is a dancing, singing song. Yeah. I'm dancing to this for sure. They say I got some rights and I really shouldn't knock it. Yeah, what we do? Yes. <laughs> that seems like it would be a lot of fun in the studio yeah like lars yeah. Ju- it's just like lars just shout stuff in the background all of their yeah. fifth man stuff <laughs> is like i've been paying more attention pocket. to it yeah and it's great <laughs> like their fifth man yells and stuff are very fun no, I did like that. It was good. I did have to check myself. I was like, "Am I just crabby? <laughs> am I am I working next to Squidward and SpongeBob SquarePants? SpongeBob. Would that make? Does that make me Patrick? Make me Patrick? Yeah. Am I Patrick? Oh, Patrick. Yeah, totally yeah Patrick. definitely. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Those yeah. are your colors. You're Gary. Aww. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Ariane is probably Squidward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a bit of SpongeBob. You have SpongeBob energy. energy. Yeah. You're the squirrel. Yeah. I was the squirrel. I'm yeah, for you're the, sure squirrel. the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I'm for sure the squirrel. Yeah, there's no doubt. Real Sandy. Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. I'm Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I am Patrick. I'm um. <laughs> now I'm forgetting his name, so the bit's gone. Remember when they rode David Hasselhoff in <laughs> from the movie? The movie? <laughs> yeah. I do remember when they did that. There's a bit in the movie when they all uh, dry out in the sun and they turn into yes, actual nice. starfish Sponge. and, and sponges. Yeah. It is maybe the funniest fucking shit that I've ever seen. That movie is had. like A+. <laughs> plus. We're a goofy goober, yeah. yeah. You're a goofy goober, have, yeah. In Edmonton, they used to have cheap theaters. They don't have any of them anymore. But you used to be able to see like a movie that was like just out of theaters at these cheap theaters that had like a dozen screens for like two or three bucks on a weekday. Like it was cheap as fuck. There are local cinemas like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. Uh, there's none of them in Edmonton. Yeah, so you got two yeah. screens, but, though. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, the ones the ones that I went to were always like Cinema 8 or Cinema 12 or whatever. But yeah, I, I saw that SpongeBob movie in one of those theaters, and it was great. I loved it. I was like, I, I felt like I was too old, and it was uncool for me to go, and then I went, and I loved it. That this is fantastic. the SpongeBob SquarePants movie podcast. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it is we, now. It's like the Star Wars minute. We just do a minute <laughs> of the movie. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, let's do a vote. Yeah. Hooligans versus down at the oh state God, house. This one's really hard. No, I, I got my yeah, locked up. I'm having a hard time. I'm not. I don't have a hard time. Yeah, I write Slynn. Craig, Craig's got it locked in. <laughs> shaking locked his in. head, he's like, "It's not even a question." <laughs> I'd go for it. I feel like I know where Joey's going. I don't. I think I he needs to poo or burp. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I think I'm locked in my up. bracket, I put. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go with your gut, Joe. Okay. In my bracket, I think I put who. All right. You did a bracket. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Now that's a state house. Um, wait, okay. You did wrong. I did suspicion. Hooligans. You did hooligans, yeah. Craig? I did hooligans. Okay, we got three to one on hooligans. Oh yeah. wow, that's that was... crazy. That that like wrongful suspicion is. Um, can I face. quickly share? I it's not my password. I had to change my passwords like eight times. Can I share my <laughs> passwords that I changed? This is to? a Slim Password Minute. Uh, Betty Gidget 420 exclamation point, which is my dog's name. I hate hackers 69 (laughs) exclamation point. Please stop asshole 69 exclamation point. And then number four, I have a Scott podcast 420 exclamation point. (laughs) 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 I have a Scott podcast 420 is like my. But none of them were 311 69 420. (laughs) No, which is a missed opportunity. Exclamation point. That's really funny. Uh, <laughs> all right. So next funny. next matchup. Oh, okay. Hear me out. Password to 69, 420. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Old friend. The other and out come the wolf song that I'm just just excited for Celine to just shit all over. My ruin my song. life. <laughs> <laughs> On the surface appears to be a song about a lost love, but it's in fact about heroin addiction. Old friend. Let's listen to it. <laughs> I still love... Tim befriending a junkie man and he doesn't know where he went and it was him in the mirror the whole time. <laughs> I don't mind this as much. Because <laughs> it's so fucking good. Yeah, this song's incredible. An but this just sounds like Time song. Bomb. It's on the same album. <laughs> yeah, it is. That sound, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, that sound we'll again. Say it again. Yeah, we all know the song. <laughs> Listen to that bass. Matt Freeman's on fire here. I'm having a great time right now, you guys. Staying inside. You're just not feeling it. I don't love it. <laughs> All right. I honestly didn't think I would ever say this, but I kind of wish it was more ska. I feel like that's what I don't like about it. <laughs> <laughs> Robert looks really exacerbated. I, I'm tired. I feel, <laughs> I feel like bullshit. it's not ska. <laughs> I feel like it's not ska enough. That's a boring song. I don't know. You guys, no, all, you guys were rocking out. I don't know why you were rocking out. Go back out. to bed. <laughs> 
I can't. Clearly, we've got up too <laughs> early. It needs you know, to be more. Food, food, the whole go Instagram back to thing. bed. Yeah, go back I to bed. I did literally Come say, back to like, us, I maybe. am napping after this. <laughs> okay, so you know who does baby a great, goes great cover of that is Big D. The Big D cover of Old Friend is absolutely killer. It's on their covers album. Fucking amazing. I think I do. This has happened before with certain albums where if it was played at Mars and Venus over the eight years on and off I worked there. I do tend to hate just because we only oh, had no. like a does that, six CD. Changer. Does that mean you don't like Manu Chow live? Honestly, Manu Chow <laughs> is hard for me to listen to because we listen to it and listen to it and listen to it. And Tom that Waits, sucks for no, you. the True Blood soundtrack. That's awful. And, and Except having to spend that so actually much kind of holds up. while listening to Manu Chow, I feel like that's a sensory assault. Yeah, Nick, <laughs> Nick Champa and Manu Chow. Yeah. yeah. And the Twisted Sister, we only had a couple Christmas albums, so we listened to the twi- a very Twisted Christmas over and over and over for like all the whole month of December. I mean, this sounds awful. We're all buying so, great and gifts. out come the wolves. You know, we're all buying great gifts. <laughs> yeah. Is that actually? I don't know. And the Trans-Siberian <laughs> Orchestra was the other Christmas album Oh, Trans-Siberian album Orchestra are, are rad. Yeah, the first time, <laughs> maybe the second time. That's Sabotage. Um, it's sabotage with Christmas. I did actually have a fear Lost Furios album that we played, and that Ooh. still actually holds up. Ooh. And yeah. Planet Ca- Smashers, Can-Con. the um, one that has yeah, Mighty. Yeah. Anyways, CanCon. And like now come the wolves. I do like CanCon. <laughs> yeah. As we did when we did the the Canadian Prime it, it, episode, you're like the Canadian Sky is the best one. This it is, is like all great music. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. For our next guest. That's exactly like me. If I was to do a podcast about Scar. Do you feel that too? Oh, the British bands are the best bands. Because (laughs) it's true. Oh, the British bands are the best bands. Actually, (laughs) actually, we did. We did Pope's. Yeah. We did. We did. We we have agreed that UK ska punk and ska is is excellent. Yeah. Yeah. UK ska punk and ska. I think I have a hard time with American and ska. Sure. Most of it. <laughs> uh, Cal- I don't love OC California ska. Yeah. And let's do uh what's it going up against? Oh, it's going up against Red Hot Moon. This is the from Indestructible, the second single, uh and uh features Skinhead Rob from the Transplants. So uh let's give it a whirl. I remember we dug this quite a bit. Yeah, Red Hot Moon's a jam. <laughs> This one's gonna be like, this is great, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> is this from an outcome? No. No, it's from Indestructible. It is good. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds better than what we just listened to. It's more ska. You think so? Yes. It's I think I'm keyboard work on that song is great. i'm i'm good i'm locked in i think Celine is too <laughs> what was the first one again old friend <laughs> i didn't like that one yeah i know okay and what's the second one called red hot moon okay craig <laughs> yeah i'm good tough. you're locked in I'm, joseph i'm trying not to be biased by time uh and red hot moon is real jam but but i think i'm ready to vote yeah. <laughs> all right three <laughs> Two, one. Red oh, friend. Hot friend. Moon. friend. God, you guys oh, suck. No, what is this? No. An outcome the wolves like a no. podcast? <laughs> no, old no friend is an incredible <laughs> song. Yeah. It's so good. The bass line. I love the bass line in that song so much. Yeah, so much. One of the best. Red old Hot friend. Moon. Old friend. I'm gonna call it here. Could take down time bomb if we're gonna yeah. go with that. Old friend. I think take super. Down time. I think. I think. Old friend is this. in the f- is the. F- the the song that I picked over Time Bomb. Yeah, that's if if it was. Whoa, go that's against, a yeah. so, you. That's great. You think this song has the best yep. chance to go up against Time that's Bomb? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. insane. That's the craziest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. No, it that's could do a it. flop. She's a flop. She's a flop. I feel Shush like you're you, vote crypto for time queen. Bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go with the song. That... And if you if if you agree with me, send me a DM and I'll tell you how you can make ten thousand dollars in three hours. <laughs> 
With F. All right. All right yeah. This next one is Scott Coin. <laughs> Corazon de Oro. <laughs> The song I uh, reference and make fun of a lot. So let's see if I still will. <laughs> Track 21 on Life Won't Wait. Uh, it's a love song, right? It means, <laughs> right? means Heart of Gold. It yeah. is a reference to Neil Young. Is it really? Yeah, and oh. the album artwork oh is a reference to Neil Young. Download, Famously covered uh, by songs for dads. Yeah. Joey my cover of Neil Young on it. And uh, features background vocals by Will Wheaton. Not the Will, Will Wheaton. No. A different <laughs> Will Wheaton. Like, Star Trek, will yeah, two L, two L, Will Wheaton. I got excited too. Oh. I saw the little link on on the Wikipedia, and I'm like, Will Wheaton clicked on it. And it's some jazz guy, and I'm like, oh, that's boring. Oh, <laughs> I'm disappointed. But here we go. Here we go. It's over before God. it starts. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's good, Jerry. <laughs> Ready, go. I'm running to New York. Oh, Rob doesn't look like he likes this. He's wincing. Visibly wincing. It is a long, slow intro. Home. 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 Chutzpah. Amenomena. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Why is he? Why is he Mel Brooks? I don't. Why is he talking about like the Schwartz? I don't know why he thought he needed a showcase piece for his. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's uh, Lars. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. The, uh, oh, yeah. That's Lars. Lars that's also like also. He's like less in your di- diaphragm, more in your nose, more in the nose. <laughs> Quieter um, and more in the nose. Yeah, Tim. Tim is uh doing something, man. This, this is, is his like wild. uh Lady Gaga did like cheek to cheek with Tony Bennett. This is like his cheek. <laughs> this is like his cheek. He's cheek trying to do Tony Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Bennett. All right. Am I though? Okay, I thought it was Timmy cre- Bonnet. Okay, I I think it's cringy, but that's me. How do yeah. we feel? Okay, <laughs> Craig. All of Jen. Little Bennett. It's like yeah. doesn't really work. A little bit in it. A little bit. Did I actually just say in it? Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely did. Yeah. No do to boot it. You said in it. Oh, man. We're all, all right. stereotypes, <sighs> Craigie. This, this is the last uh, matchup. So it is going up against the breakdown, which is the bonus track from Honor is All We Know, which uh, we dug. We actually dug this when we pushed also, it through in the first I one. I do genuinely say A a lot. I do say A. I do say A. Yeah. Like, I always say something and I'm like, hey. I, it's kind of more like, hey, but it is a. like, a? A. A. a? Hey? We genuinely, it is a, the real thing. Yeah. Okay. You heard it here first. Challenge.com. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> All right, the Billy. Oh, yeah. Billy. Billy. This is the one that's easy to remember the words to. Break down the walls it has a big counting section. No, that was we knocked that song out. Oh, right. Very easy to Take a shot. Take a shot. Five or slap. Um, they should do like a uh, Matt Freeman, like Sesame Street. So Matt Freeman's just Muppet, and he just counts. One and one. Yeah, yeah. Who gets two? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I know how I'm gonna vote on this. Doing the Matt Freeman voice is very fun. It is just, very fun. Every single time you're gonna have to remind me. I immediately yeah, forget right. the song. So it's I only uh, exist in the present. Corazon, song. Corazon de Oro. And How did down. that go? I'm just oh wow, those down. are two flops. <laughs> two flops. Yeah, flop, flop, <laughs> flop. 
Um, and what's right, the second I, one called? Breakdown. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, three, two, one. Breakdown. Breakdown. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's uh, th- that's a devil's choice, though. And it's going up. Okay. That's a so, devil's brigade. Yeah. Ah. Here's the matchups for round three. We did it. Time bombs going up against Crane Fist. Life Already. Oh, yeah. boy. Life- that should be the final one. Life Won't Wait is going up against I Want a Riot. Ooh. Boy. Daily City Train against Hooligans. Yeah. Oh, Holy smokes, and man, an difficult. old friend versus Breakdown. That's the Easy. only one that I feel like there's an uphill so battle. Almost but... all of these are a outcome: the Wolves versus a Life Won't Wait. Oh, let's see. One, two. Well, I guess I want. Well, yeah. Okay, three. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Basically, it's in. Wow. Yeah. That's that's an interesting shakeout for the next round. Wow. Okay, we did it though. We made it through. That was some, that was that was fun. That was quite quite a thing. So uh, I can't I can't wait till next week and see if my mood changes. And it's completely different. You're like old friend is like the best action. Yeah. <laughs> Who will I be next week? I don't know. <laughs> now for a game. <laughs> Well, she skanks around Cali from Berkeley to San Francisco. She's a checkered powered Rudy from Oakland, Silicon Valley. She'll take you for a ride on a cable car to Fresno. Tell me where in NoCal is Scarman, San Diego. I forgot it was NorCal. No, no, no Cal. No Cal. (laughs) All right. In this game, Slynn, Joey, and Craig will answer a series of multiple choice questions based on trivia. Called from the interwebs about the uh, bass player of Rancid, because we did drummers on the last one. Now Matt. we're doing Matt. Free- now we're doing Celine Matt, <laughs> and I'll continue to do that every round. Uh, so buzz in with your name, Buzz, Ska, whatever. Do Five think, questions. Do you think um, when Brett Reed exited in their new drummer, is Joe making a like, proper tally yeah, chart? Yeah, oh, how tallying. professional! He's always yeah. tallying. Oh. Um, Except he like did it last time we played against each other. He like yeah, didn't really... add like two points of but mine. He won. only counted Joey points. It's funny, yeah. Uh, he he added the know. two points Listeners... back, and Joey still won. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Do you think Listen back. The to drummer this. came in and was like, "So here I am. I'm in this band." <laughs> That's pretty and good, I, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because he came from the used. Because he came from the used. I yeah. loved it. Thanks. Yeah, been thinking about that for a bit. That's good for you. A box full <laughs> of sharp objects. All right. Um, we are the used. No, I don't know. I that's not bad, it. actually. <laughs> we I'm sure it was like that. <laughs> I, I, my favorite part is when he goes, <laughs> and then he has to puke because he used to like get himself so worked up on stage that he barf all the time. Aw. Bur- that sounds like a like a toddler in Burt McCracken. <laughs> yeah, Burt Bur- Bur- McCracken. Oh, yeah. he got himself so worked up. Yeah. <laughs> he used to barf. Uh, He's not double. He's got to do the upper and the downer. <laughs> Maybe that's how he had so much barf. Yeah. Maybe that's how he had so much barf. Yeah, to barf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here we go. Question one. Roger Freeman met Timothy Armstrong when they were both five years old and played Little League all the way through high school, where Roger, a.k.a. Matt, picked up an instrument. What was this instrument? Was it A, the bass, B, the guitar, <laughs> C, the trumpet, or D, the trombone? Slim. Oh, oh, that what Joey was before you think, me. You think Joey? Yeah. Okay. I want to say the trumpet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I was going to um, say. But, but there is going to be a delay with Craig. <laughs> that's right. Right. So what you have yeah, to wait. I heard again. Joey say it before me. So. But I did uh, hear Joey say it before me, too. Um, I just wanted to say the trumpet. It, it, it was. It, he actually played all four of those instruments while in high school, and bass oh, wow. was the last instrument he picked up. He would go on to form Classic. or play in several bands, and many of which were with his friend Tim. Let's see if we can spot the one he wasn't part of. Pay attention. I'm only saying this list once, <laughs> and you okay. have to pick out the one he didn't play in. Okay, ready? Here it goes. It's a shotgun. Okay. Basic Radio, Downfall, Operation Ivy, Dance Hall Crashers, Rancid, Millions of Dead Cops, The Gur Up, Social Distortion, Antichrist, Su- Suicidal Tendencies, Devil's Brigade, Transplants, Charger, The Crew. Whoa, that's a lot. I can't even remember the first ones you said. I know he played in Social Distortion. I know he played in Transplants. Um, what was the first one you said? I said I'm only li- saying it once. <laughs> It started I with a B. The names. It started with a B. Yeah, is that your guess? Yeah. No. 
<laughs> the Brigade is a punk band, isn't it? So he probably played, and I'm pretty sure they're like associated with him in some way. So he probably play on them. Um, or Lars. I, I was going to say Social D, but you already. No, he definitely played in Social D. I don't That's know. A tricky one. Yeah. A lot of letters. Rob's so smug right now. He's so, just so smug. happy. He look, he's like looking at his kingdom, like just like happy, like looking, just so happy no Surveying one can answer it. Yeah, he keeps looking over at everyone and like just smiling to himself. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I know. Out of oh, okay. Giant list Give of us songs. the answer. I, there you just want ones, the answer. There okay. are ones that I remember you saying that. He okay, dancehall crashers. Celine. No, he, he was in the dancehall crashers, forming member. Celine transplants. He, he played bass in the transplants. Celine Devil's Brigade. He was Celine, the main. The crew. Guy. He was definitely Celine in the crew. Charger. No, he was definitely the in Charger. One. Was he in all of them? Is this a Rob Trick Cel- question? Celine Op Ivy. Oh, Celine Op Ivy. Oh, 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 it is. Isn't it? He's in all of them. No, no, he's oh. not in suicidal tendencies. <laughs> suicidal oh, tendencies. Uh, he played in you. the crew with Mike Muir from Suicidal oh, Tendencies, but he, but he was never in suicidal, suicidal tendencies. Yeah. I was just listing off bands yeah. that I remember you. But he was in literally all the other ones. It's a lot of bands. He's a busy guy. So after Off Ivy, Matt would go on, uh, go in and out of several bands with his primary focus being Downfall. But he forced him to form another side project called Rancid. Tim almost immediately thought that Rancid should be the main focus. But Matt gave him a condition. Was it A, Matt would have to become the lead singer. B, Tim had to renounce his title of King of Ska and give it to Matt. <laughs> so he would be called Matt, King of Ska, and the Baron of Bass. <laughs> C, Tim had to donate $50 to Matt's charity, Bases for Babies, where they teach mm-hmm. newborns to play prejudice. <laughs> okay. Or D, Rob, Tim had to stop fun. drinking. Craig? Yes. Tim had to stop drinking. That's right. Yeah. Aw, yeah. that's cute. Yeah. And that's he, nice. he was sober ever since. Sober buds. That's yeah. wild. So Matt broke his nose. Uh, here's the story. I'll tell you what happened. We were playing the hate house and the gig was on the floor. Uh, it's punk rock and the mics were old. The clip on the stand was metal now that they're plastic. And I went up to sing the first song rejected. There was a pit and no stage or anything. And just by my forward body movement and some guy dancing, he hit my microphone just at the exact time. And it cracked the bridge of my nose. I fell down and hit my head on the amp. I was out of it, and I'm a bleeder, so I was covered in blood. And I'm a bleeder? Yeah. Tim takes off his shirt and we puts got it under bleeder. my nose <laughs> and was leading me around trying to find a bathroom. Yeah, punk's a dangerous job. <laughs> so they took me to the hospital and told me it was broken, and now I can't smell because this was the second time I broke my nose, and the second time's the charm. Now it's all flat, but the worst part was the next day we were opening for Bad Religion, and I show up with two black eyes and my nose all swollen. But I played the show, and what was really bad was I used to have this habit of rubbing my eyes, a broken nose will cure you of that quick. And every time I do it, it hurts so bad I'd tear up and would start bleeding again. <laughs> and that's the story of how Matt broke his nose in Salt Lake City. Or it's just a cover up for a nose job. I'm just kidding. Oh, maybe just I've heard wanted, that story. I've that heard that story nose. from a few people already that <laughs> they broke their nose. <laughs> and Craig mentioned it. He played in Social Distortion. Thanks to him, uh, uh, thanks to the success of Indestructible. He's like, I need more Joey's of that favorite mediocre. band, if I'm aware, probably. Yeah. Oh, love, love, we all, love them so we much. all have a, fa- a fandom for Social yes. Distortion. No. I actually um, like Social Distortion. Just so I've like, literally yeah. seen it. Like, that's I've because, gone to their that's show. because sometimes you like to go to sleep. So you need something <laughs> slow oh, and boring true. to help put you You have sleep, sleep issues, yeah. <laughs> um, I hadn't talked to him for a day. And so Lars calls me and is just like, hey, what's going on? What have you been up to? And I say... Social Distortion called me and wanted me to play bass for them, but I told them no. Hmm. There was just silence on the other end, and he says, are you serious? And I was just like, yeah, dude, I don't want to do that. <laughs> he yells at me, are you <laughs> fucking crazy? Easy songs to play. You call them Yeah, back. yes. <laughs> anyway, so he was fucking with Lars, he said. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, because Lars is like the biggest Social Distortion Oh, fan. that's funny. Really? Yeah. That's cute. Aw, <laughs> um, uh, they seem like friends. Yeah. yeah. After becoming... I love their love. <laughs> oh, do you know who taught uh, Matt to play the upright bass? Jeff from Tiger Army, Aww, who also cute. played uh, bass in AFI, in AFI's Punky Days. And that's why AFI well, and Tiger good. Army are so tight, Oops. too. Um, uh, in the mid-2000s, Matt had a universe-aligning moment. What was it? Was it A, he quit smoking, diagnosed with lung cancer, only to find out it was misdiagnosed. B, Whoa. he quit drinking, diagnosed with liver cancer, and got a transplant that didn't give a fuck. Transplant don't give C- a fuck. I, yeah, I was like, he, you, yeah. yeah. He quit going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Foreshadowing. 
Yeah. He quit going outside, diagnosed with skin cancer, and had extreme plastic surgery. <laughs> or D, he quit rancid, diagnosed with wallet cancer, then rejoined with cured his condition immediately. Wallet cancer? Slim. <laughs> <laughs> D, yeah. all of the above. No. <laughs> Joke. You got wallet cancer. First one yeah, yeah. Lung cancer. Yeah, the lung cancer thing is the real one. And it went, and it was faux, oh, faux there, cans. Most of those were jokes. I don't know if you got. Them. Yeah, no, I got. I well, I yes, we got them, Robert. I still said E all of the above. <laughs> that was also a joke. I thought the transplants one could have been real. I thought that was, you was like yeah, a soul hint there. Yeah, that was yeah. a good and one. If any organ wasn't gonna give a fuck, it would probably be him. Uh, <laughs> one me oh, okay sorry look Chris. how chuffed he is yeah i know he is fucking so chuffed. happy with got, himself. yeah i'm glad you caught it too he was like holding he's gonna his, hold like, that paper. against you all day i won yeah. The <laughs> yeah he's like yeah yeah that's why he makes the tally charts yeah. <laughs> yep. his stupid little it's time to question the answers craig you're back i'm back we, we missed you sorry <laughs> i drank like Five pints of cider, pretty much during this episode. <laughs> Whoa, you're being, a, you're, you're, you're doing a. We're having a flashback to the Op Ivy episode where Eric drank like ten beers. Oh. <laughs> I also drank like ten beers. I'm quite. I'm all, I'm all right. So this. I'm all right. There, there are crap loads of questions, but we only really have ten minutes left in our record session. So I'm going to try to like. We, we might want to do these a little bit rapid fire, but this is these are all That's for fine. Craig to answer. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna peace out on. Celine and Joey. I mean, I'll chime <laughs> in. Um, what's your favorite kind of bird? Um, this duck. One? Don't know why. Ah. Don't oh, know why. they're cute. There's a Twitter. Page I should have said pigeon because then I could have done a sponge reference, but about how you're going to kick them in the park? Possibly. I remember when I used to go to college. Um, someone like if you feed a bird like sodium bicarbonate or something like that, then they explode. I don't know, but someone did that at the college I was at and there was like exploded pigeons everywhere. <laughs> oh, Gross. That is violent. Yeah, that is yeah I know. It wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't know the person, just that you saw a pigeon that was basically look exploded and they were outside the park where everyone got stoned. And um, yeah, right. so I presume that's what happened. <laughs> I think that was, that was implied. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure um, if you feed a bird something, it explodes. A pigeon, maybe any bird. I don't know. I'm, sh- I'm drones. Possible, possibly, possibly a serial killer now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my right. favorite Probably. bird is drone. <laughs> uh, oh, that was from each of them on the Discord. Uh, Joey asked, I don't know why Joey throwing a question, <laughs> but he did. <laughs> if you had to eat something rancid, what would it be? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Craig>. cheese. Uh, <laughs> cheese. <laughs> pizza. I don't know. I'll eat any pizza. I remember once when I was walking to school, I found a bit of uh, Cadbury's chocolate on the floor, and I ate that. Mm. That was pretty gross of me. <laughs> like the eggy yolky one? No, like um, what are you talking about? Like um, cr- ca- like cream, egg? cream egg. I was thinking about a cream egg. Yeah, no, no, no just like the normal sort of standard like chocolate squares. Oh, you know, yeah. for some reason I just went right to cream egg. No, I'm not like, a big fan of the cream Greg. eggs. I'm not. No, the fan I of the just cream like eggs. I was picturing so, like a so sickly, like half eaten cream egg on the ground, and you're like, mm, all right. Let me just lick out the hole a little bit more. Yeah, I don't that know. I don't know what freaky that shit would be people do across the pond. <laughs> uh, past past guest Ben of Mini Vandal asks, "Have you ever fired two guns while jumping in the air?" Yosemite Craig. Well, guns are illegal here, so oh, thank no. You. But I have fired a gun, but like in a controlled environment at a stag party once and i was like you, you can jump in the air in a controlled way yeah but it was like an, it was like um one of those assault rifle sort of ones that's so wild it wasn't like like uh pew, pew, pew. <laughs> do my you my use summary sound impression yeah. yeah that was just for the did Patreon. you say did you say varmint no i did not but i could no, okay. do <laughs> darn varmint darn darn what is your what does yosemite sam say what he's his varmint, yeah. yeah. That, but does he have a quote? Uh, you know, like I'm a Yosemite Sam. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if he had a quote. And I hate the rapids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's where that comes from. Um, let's see. Gotta Da-da-da-da. go fast. <laughs> that's Sonic. Yeah. Does he say "Gotta go fast"? In the yeah. cartoon, yeah. Interesting. 
He goes fast. I know he, he goes fast. To. I didn't know he had proclaimed it. We got more questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. Questions. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody's asking if they should, if Rancid should do an Operation Ivy nude rude dude. Uh, is that should they do an Operation Ivy reunion tour slash album? I feel like they Jesse, did the pop up no. show, right? I feel like Jesse just wouldn't be involved in that. I, I just feel like it'd ruin it a little bit. To be honest, I I think it would yeah, suck. Me too. Yeah, personally, I, I think, think it would be bad. Yeah, I'd see it. Let that let that um, nostalgia stay with you. Don't ruin yeah, it like with something secret, new. Like when they did that little secret pop up thing in that oh that, with that um, show Terry Hall was there. Yeah, like, I yeah. personally cool. would be stoked to hear them play those songs live, and even if it wasn't like a full line, you know what? Like if they maybe, did it, if they toured the album, if they maybe toured live, the album, but I don't think cool. you want to record like an album. No, yeah. No. sorry, yeah. I'm Music picturing a show. I'm just yeah. picturing a show. Like if yeah. if it was like a complete surprise, no one knew it was happening, and then they just all got on the stage at like the end, even for like one song, that'd be cool as shit. But like I don't, even if it was billed as an Operation Ivy concert or i just feel, feel like people overhype it too much and it'd be everyone will sort of go well it's not what if like you went in with... to be down at gilman or wherever it was what if you just yeah. came in with realistic expectations <laughs> this is the this is what the current world we live in no yeah. One... Yeah. what are you saying <laughs> what if you like like realized Nobody all of those things and we're like i'm just gonna see okay that's fair well and then they would get jesse to sing time bomb and like tim would sing like fucking uh like a What's that song? At one, the Common Rider. Song. Yeah, like oh. yeah, I would sing that song. Classics you know, of love. They would do, they would, yeah, Diet? classics of love. They yeah. would do stuff like that. That I would imagine they wouldn't just do the twenty-two off Ivy songs. They would, yeah, have to do, do a, a thing. Other you know, yeah. it, it would probably be fine, but new music would be not great. I would just not be into it. Who knows? The new the Tribe Called Quest reunion. I'd listen was to very, it, but I don't good. know if it. I don't. It wouldn't hit that. That. The time, the time for them to come back Thing. was in the early '90s, and the time is long gone. Yeah, like, yeah, that would have been the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe '97. Maybe Ska is huge, and they're just like, let's make a fucking reunion now. Let's make a bunch of money. But anyway, uh, okay. The substitute streamer asks, "Will Craig finally admit PG?" No, supremacy? I've already seen that one. No, this is no, some kind Eli. of tea thing. Yeah, yeah. P- he thinks PG Tips is the best tea in the UK. Is not is an inferior tea <laughs> bag. Yorkshire Continue. tea is the best tea. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me angry every time he says Fill this. Spill the tea, Craig. Yeah. Fill the Yorkshire tea. tea. If you want to sponsor me, go right ahead. <laughs> What's the best Yorkshire tea uh, variety? You just like black, like just um, English it, breakfast It's just tea, tea bag, like, mate. It's just tea bag. It's just so it's, tea just, bag. Oh, it's just the bag. They got decaffeinated. I think they might have an extra, tush, uh, bleh, extra strong variant, but I say that like take... it sounds like weed when I say that. Do, do you think they <laughs> take the caffeine out of the de- decaf and then put it into the tea? Hasn't caffeine? even got as much caffeine as coffee. I don't know why you need to make tea decaffeinated. To be quite honest, <laughs> it can if you have tea a little too late. <laughs> we don't have the genetics you people have, and I <laughs> did say you people very intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> intentionally, we don't have the tea genetics. Um, when you say you I am people, a tea. You I am English. a tea. You mean I'm British? A... Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm fucking Brits. You're French Canadian. Yeah, we don't like each other. Uh-huh. That's right. There you go. That's what we sound like. <laughs> Beauty. I, think I was had a point, but instead, uh, I just realized what the time is. So let's wind her down. <laughs> yeah, your day's uh, just starting, and mine is ending. I gotta go do bedtime. So, <laughs> thanks for listening to Checkered Past, Craig. Do you got Thank something you to plug? Thank you for having me. Um, yeah. You can listen to my new song on everywhere uh, it's called blinded by black hole and it you can also listen to the radioactive cover now streaming everywhere uh if there's there's t-shirts like two so if you want a t-shirt i should have worn just... my common sense kid shirt <laughs> nah that's good <laughs> I... you got that uh, just like dm on. me or something and i'll send you the link it's not something i do much so yeah uh, check me out everywhere Good, yes. we like <laughs> Craig's music. Yeah, we do, do and we, we like Craig. Endorse, Craig is Craig is one hundred percent the uh, the the friend of the pod. Yeah, and OG the first Patreon. Friend of the, yeah, what, what, OG yeah. first friend yeah. of the pod and number one guest. So number, one guest. Number, one number one guest. Most repeat <laughs> guest. Who We're gonna I've, send you a mug that says that. Who I <laughs> best I also, podcast guest number yeah. one. And a little I, trophy. I promise that you'll be on every bracket we do in the round two. You heard that, listeners. So you can unsubscribe <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, and TikTok at CheckerPassPod, or send us an email at CheckerPassPod at gmail.com. To support the pod and get bonus content, including a full-length and unedited video of this episode, sign up for a Checkerhead Patreon at patreon.com slash checkeredpast. We also have merch available at checkeredpast.ca. This episode is engineered by Joey and edited by TBD. Hmm. To follow along with the bracket, head over to challenge.com, C-H-A-L-L-O-N-G-E.com, slash September, that's September with an H, to see how the matchups are progressing. Next week, we'll continue at September with round three, and we will have Amy Gabba, Canada's <sighs> own Amy Gabba, to help us out with that. Okay. So until next time, I'm Rob. I'm Matt Salin, Salin Matt. I'm Joey Bastard. And in moral words of Rancid, I forgot to write a, la- a Rancid lyric down, so Joey, you come up with one. Uh, in a man's life, <laughs> you would take a fall, but how low he goes, <laughs> it just depends. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we did it. It's-